and speak about abundant living, how you know, my life has been such an interesting journey as all of us have been. Raise your hand if the different times of your life abundance didn't seem like it was there. You felt very far apart from abundance. So I was thinking about, and, and me too, and, and I was thinking about my childhood growing up in Los Angeles. And I came from a you know, very loving family and, and um, middle class family. We, we didn't have you know, extravagant things. We had, you know, I had everything I needed. And um, I remember, and I don't know, yeah, sometimes we, we don't know how much of it was our perception and what actually happened, but um, I remember feeling when I was growing up that my father would, you know, give us things generously and then I would have a feeling that there wasn't enough. I don't know if any of you can relate to that, but there, we'd get things and then there would be a feeling that there wasn't going to be enough. And so I always had both of those things happening. Can anybody kind of relate to that? So I always had both those things happen. So I, I get something or buy something, um, and then I would feel guilty, <laughs> like there wasn't enough. And and it, it took a lot of years to understand that and to become conscious of that. Um, and so I would create abundance, and then, you know, I would feel like, oh wow, I can't do that. Um, and so life kind of you know takes a journey, doesn't it, for all of us? And. Um, the more I study these wonderful principles, the more I've been really focused on creating an abundant consciousness. It's not even about things, is it? What is abundance? Call out. What's abundance to you? Lots of things. Plenty. Blessings. Blessings. Anybody else? What does abundance mean to you? What you need when you need it. Say it again. What? What you need when you need it. When you, what you need when you need it. Enough. Enough. And when we look around at nature, we look around at this beautiful universe, what do we see? So much abundance, don't we? So much abundance, so much plenty. You know, just being in nature, my, my holiest place is being in nature. Because I look around and I see the, the perfection that's everywhere. And we're all part of that perfection. And I was, I was thinking about, I'm going to give some quotes and tell some stories as I go, but I, I was thinking about what changed in my life around abundance. And um, I was thinking about, I was, I've always been renting um, houses. And, and my husband and I were in Sydney were, you know, kind of, in my mind, I never thought I could buy, you know, that I could afford that and that could happen. And so we've been renting and I've been working on my abundance consciousness so much and, um, and just expanding my thinking around it. And, um, and as I did that, things started to change and we were actually able to get into a property, you know, in Sydney. And, and you know, so it's so interesting as we focus on creating more and being open to that creation, so much more happens. And I want to read you something. How many of you have heard of Esther Hicks and the teachings of Abraham? So those teachings really changed my life. Um, they really spoke to me very much. And I think we have to find and listen to wonderful teachers that, that speak to us so we can start to change the beliefs and those core thoughts that are in there to, to really shift them and reprogram ourselves. And, and this, the teachings of Abraham certainly helped do that for me. And I love what, um, what Esther and Abraham say. When you're able to accomplish the feeling of abundance, before the evidence has shown itself to you, the evidence must come and will continue to come as long as you maintain that feeling of abundance. Yes? And I was really thinking about that, um, that in, um, in Signs of Mind, we have a five-step prayer treatment, which probably many of you know about. And I love the, you know, the first step is, the, is, is connecting to, to the presence of God that's everywhere. And the second step is unifying ourselves in that presence. And the third step is affirming and, and claiming whatever we are creating already, as if it's happening right now. 
not next week or next year, but right now. And then the fourth step, does anyone know what the next step is? Yes, gratitude. Giving thanks as if it's already happening right now. And that's a really powerful, I wanted to talk about that because it's so powerful to, to really say thank you, universe, for already these blessings. Even if we don't have it yet, but knowing that it's already being manifested, it's already, the universe is already doing these magical things for it to happen, for it to show up in whatever way is for our highest good. So we say, you know, thank you, we feel the gratitude as if it's already happening. And then we let it go. We release it, we don't hold on to it and say, okay, I'm going to just keep holding. We let it go knowing that it's already happening. It's already happening. And that's what I started to do with everything in my life. With the house to buy, with everything. Was already... <laughs> see, now I'm taller, aren't I? Um, was already, you know, knowing that it's taking place. And feeling that gratitude for that. And letting it go. So I remember being in the States and wanting a partner in my life and, and um, doing prayer treatment on it and, you know, praying on it and, you know, pretty much I had a prayer partner we prayed almost every day and I was just holding that, that prayer and, and then I let it go. I absolutely <laughs> let it go. I didn't think about it again. I just knew that it was already going to, it was already taking place and that it would show up at the right time. And so, um, when I, I, was at, I had moved back to the States for four years and I came back to Australia in 2004 to decide what I was going to do. Was I going to stay, come back and live in Australia or go back to the States? And I got a call out of the blue from one of my best friends who I've known for, I had known since I first came to Australia in the 80s and he never wanted to fix me up with anybody ever. And I, out, out of the blue he said, I have your soulmate for you. And I wasn't even thinking about it. And everything that I had prayed for showed up. So I didn't pray for someone who had four teenagers. <laughs> That's been my greatest learning. My greatest, they've been my greatest teachers. But so I, had, I let go of it. How many of you have had that happen in your life where you, you kind of put something out to the universe in your prayers and then you let it go and then it showed up? So that we need to let go of the attachment to things. And that's living an abundant life, really, isn't it? It's, it's being able to let go of, the more we hold on to something, what happens? <laughs> when we can let it go and know that it's, it's already happening, it cannot not happen, right? It, it will happen. And it will happen in ways that we can't even imagine. Better than we can imagine. Because it's, it's God, it's the universe doing this. So it, it's only going to be incredible, isn't it? So, so the more we can open up and not be, okay, it's got to look this way and be this color and be this size and be this, you know, but open up and go, okay. And what I always love is to say, something greater is taking place. The highest good is taking place. How many say that? The highest good, I love that, you can write down, the highest good is taking place. So it goes beyond us, because the highest good is always taking place. It's whether we're willing to receive it or not. So whatever you're wanting, the highest good for my health, the highest good for my family, the highest good for the universe, the highest good for this planet, it, that's my prayer all the time. That's what I know is happening. No matter how, it, we're, how it's showing up, how we're seeing it, there's something greater taking place that we can't always see. Isn't that true? So the highest good is taking place. It's one of my, I'm just going to show you my little secrets that have helped me, you know, every day. Because my mind can't say anything when I say that, the highest good. It goes, okay, <laughs> all right, I'll let that happen. Highest good is taking place. There is a power in simplicity. 
Do not overcomplicate your life by overthinking. The stream always takes the simplest path to the ocean. As Esther Hicks and Abraham always says, and I love this, you know, we keep paddling upstream as human beings, you know, pushing against the current. It's very tiring. So if we turn the boat and go downstream, we're, we're going to flow so much easier. Things are going to open up to us so much more easily. My words now that I hold for my life is ease and grace. Ease and grace. Let everything be with ease and grace. Because I'll tell you, I'm, I was an ex, not anymore, but I was an expert at doing it hard. Really doing, like really going upstream all the time. Anybody else join me in that group? Not anymore, but used to. Yeah, not anymore. And when I catch myself doing that, I quickly go the other direction. Ease and grace. I'm choosing ease and grace. So to me, abundance in a prosperous life, living an abundant life, is about what we put our focus on. Because what we put our focus on is what we attract. And we all know that in here, don't we? I love that about New Thought teaching. We all know that. That where we put our focus, where we put our energy, we create. So it's a constant thing of being aware of what our mind is doing and where we're putting our focus so that we're putting it on what we want to create. More abundant flow in our life. True? And one of the ways that really helped me to do that I know we talk about that a lot in here, is being grateful. Being grateful. Every day, I can't tell you how many times I say, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, a hundred times a day, I'm saying that. And that has made my life so much better. So next year, I'm going to be 60. I look in the mirror and I go, no way. No, I mean, I don't feel like, I still feel like I'm in my 20s. And because I'm living these principles now, more than I ever have, and being so grateful for everything, for everything. How many of you are, every day are grateful? And the more you can put that vibration of gratitude into you, the more you, you know, the more that we attract great things. Because that vibration of gratitude really opens us up to so much more peace and more health and more grace, more joy than anything I have ever found. And really, the, the, you know, for me, the older I get, it's about simple things. Because I think as human beings, we're great at complicating stuff. Aren't we? I was. I won't say all of us, but I was really good at it. And now, as I get older, it's about how do I make it more simple? More simple. And so for me, gratitude is such an incredible, powerful, spiritual tool. So close your eyes for a moment. And you can, if you'd like to, you don't have to, place your hands at your heart center just to connect back to that place of gratitude, that place of joy within you. And just breathe in that, that vibration of thank you. Thank you to yourself. Thank you to every cell. Thank you to the universe. Thank you to God. Just inside yourself, thank you. Thank you for this breath. Thank you for my life. this moment. Breathe it in, all that you're grateful for, and include your
yourself in that. Because we don't always bring ourselves into that quotation. We really feel that gratitude for you, for who you are. You know, we all make an amazing difference on the planet. Even if we, you know, aren't out there publicly, we make a difference to everybody around us in ways that we don't know. And I want to read you a prayer for gratitude from one of my favorite teachers, Don Miguel Ruiz. Today, creator of the universe, my heart is filled with gratitude for the gift of life you have given me. Thank you for the opportunity to experience this beautiful body and this wonderful mind. Today, Lord, I want to express my gratitude for everything I have received from you. I know the way to say thank you for life is by fully enjoying every moment of my life. And the only way to enjoy every moment is to love. Today I will express all the love and happiness that exist in my heart. I will love your creations. I will love myself. I will love the people who live with me. I know that life is too short to waste in misery and drama with the people I love. I will enjoy the presence of the people I love, respecting their choices in life as I respect my own. Today I will graciously receive your gifts by enjoying your gifts, by enjoying the beauty of your creation. Help me to be as generous as you are, to share what I have with generosity, just as you share your gifts so generously with me. Help me to become a master of gratitude, generosity, and love, so that I can enjoy all of your creations. Today, Lord, help me to manifest my creations as you manifest the universe to express the beauty of my spirit in the supreme art of the human, the art of dreaming my life. Today, Lord, I give you all my gratitude and love because you have given me life. So how powerful gratitude is. So I'd like to invite you to turn to the person next to you. There's only three of you in a row that you can all share. Something you're grateful for right now in this moment. Share it. It's beautiful to be able to share it with somebody else. And if you're by yourself, turn to the person behind you. Okay, you can do it now. <laughs> so something you're grateful for right now. <laughs> Grateful for the cancer. 
didn't happen right away. <laughs> it wasn't like I got diagnosed and I went, oh, I'm so grateful for this. It took me a little while to really sit with, okay, what's the, what's the blessing in this? Because there isn't everything that shows up for us. There's an amazing blessing. And I'll tell you, it was probably one of the most incredible blessings of my life, getting cancer. I know that sounds really strange. But it taught me to love myself more deeply. It taught me so many things. And we'll just finish with Eileen Caddy, who says, expect your every need to be met. Expect the answer to every problem. Expect abundance on every level. Expect. Expect and be grateful. And not hold on to it, but just know that it's already taking place. And so it is. Thank you.